Alright, so this is a test of my uh, simple flyback driver. I have here a simple flyback out of just um, an old CRT that I ha happen to have. It was about a 25 inch CRT, so mm, not that big of a flyback. But it works for this. Over here I have the flyback driver of my own design. Took a very long time to figure out how to get this thing working. Have a MOSFET for chan uh, switching the power off and on to the to the flyback and I have a chip right here that creates the modulated frequency and also modulates the audio. I have over here, this is my 13.5 volt uh, 7 amp power supply DC and uh, I have over here this battery right here. This battery is essentially just for powering these two humongous fans. These two huge fans essentially all they allow me to do is run the flyback continuously. If I did not have these fans, this MOSFET right here would overheat and eventually catch on fire and that would not be good. So anyways, I have a few things here that I'm going to demonstrate for you. The first thing is, is a simple arc and after you've seen the arc, I'm actually going to modulate the arc with audio from this uh, keyboard over here and it'll actually create music without any speakers whatsoever. It's kind of cool. Then we've got a simple Jacob's Ladder and a Plasma Globe and last but not least we've got a CD-ROM which is actually quite cool if, if you've never seen it before. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the audio. I'm going to leave the fans off so that you can hear the arc because it tends to get really noisy and then once we're done with that I'm going to switch the fans on and it'll get noisy and I'll switch to each of the other experiments and you'll be able to see them. And under no circumstance should you try this at yourself unless you know exactly what you're doing. I have a fair amount of experience with high voltage. So unless you know what you're doing, do not attempt this. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to test is the musical arc. You get you nice and close to it so you can see it. And here we go. We're going to turn on the arc. Adjust the arc so you can't hear the frequency. And here we go. Here's me playing the piano through the uh, a plasma arc. There's uh, some simple stuff, and here's some more song. Song you might be a little more familiar with. Alright, so now we're going to switch the fans on. Jacob's ladders are fun. I always use them to test out high voltage power supplies when I first build them because it's a very effective way to test your power supply. And you gotta admit, it just looks really cool. This power supply is producing about 7,500 volts at about, oh, say, 10 milliamps.
As you can see, when it's close, it actually produces a nice little piece of plasma. Then when you pull it out, it actually turns, starts freezing out, and eventually you cannot connect it anymore. Okay, so the next thing we got here is a plasma globe, and essentially all it is is a, you know, standard incandescent light bulb. So here we go. And last, but not least, we have an old DVD. Essentially all we're going to do is hook it up and run some high voltage through it. The high voltage is actually messing with my optical mouse. And that pretty much concludes my uh, high voltage power supply. Like I said, these can be built pretty easily with uh, components off the internet. I've, you can even build them, you know, they're not that hard to build. And uh, if you want to try it out, go ahead, but do it at your own risk. And uh, that about concludes my video. Thanks for watching.